Hello everybody, I'm Chim Dot, and this is another episode of XCOM The Enemy Within. Um, so in the last episode I got quite distracted by having a lot of fun doing the Gangplank mission. Got my first covert, co covert? Got my first covert operative uh, out into the field and, and basically what happened is I just got overwhelmed by all this craziness that's going on. And uh, at the end of the day, what it all came down to is I started rambling on and on, didn't make any good coherent decisions. So anyway, we got an alien abduction mission and we're going to India. I'll try to be a little more, uh, uh, you know, normal, so to speak, although being normal, let's face it, it's not really my strong point. Uh, I'm going to try to be a little more coherent, a little more, um, you know, direct and to the point in our mission tonight, uh, maybe a little more... Uh, you know, make make some better decisions, explain why I'm making the decisions that I'm making in a little bit better of a way. Area of engagement for this mission will be in India. Although, let's be honest, that's probably not going to happen. We've gotten several reports indicating that the aliens have stepped up the number of attempted abductions. Thank you, we'll have Bradford. to move quickly if we want to slow the spread of panic. Thank you. Um, going to India, a map that I think I'm familiar with. Oh, look at our mech. Uh, so we're bringing in a couple of new folks. We've got, uh... We've got Nibbity Nibs Nibs Niblo Nibs, whose real name I can't remember. Okay, let's see. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. This looks like a mission where I don't know. I don't know where things might be in here. I don't see any meld. But it wouldn't surprise me overly if it was up on a roof or something. I don't see it in here. Okay, I don't see the meld. So I think what we're going to do is maybe divide into two teams. Uh, you know, A team or whatever, so to speak. Oh, I could get somebody up on the roof. That might be useful. I don't know. Hard to tell. But I'll send one team left and one team right is, uh, is where we're going to go with this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stomp Hefe Pollo up here. And we're going to take a look inside this laundry mat. Where we are. It doesn't look like I'm going to see anyone. That's good. So, Zenden. We'll get right over here. And uh, we'll send one of the heavies this direction. So Calypso will be our heavy that goes this way. Moving out. And then we'll send the other three guys the other way. Nibblo. I don't like where your options are. You're too slow to have any good options. And you're not going to get anywhere fast either. So you know what? We're going to sprint the lanky Asian right up here. I'm kind of surprised we don't have any uh, bad guys. Alright. And, uh, right up here. Okay, so we got that going for us. Um, <laughs> whoa, not a whole lot going on here. Not a whole lot. Get, just put your stupid pistol on and go into Overwatch, you crazy person. Alright, so, um, yeah, no Mel, no aliens, no nothing going on just yet. Alright, so the meld is straight through. That's good. So I think we'll send our mech right up the middle. So, look at that. Got an alien. Got an alien indeed. So they're probably going to run out the door here. Which is not really what I was hoping for, but so be it. Um, does he have a shot from there? He does not. Could do collateral damage. Which does how much? Up to two damage? I could get both of them. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Get the two of them and scatter them, and they might just accidentally run and try to take cover behind these dryers. You know what? Let's do that. This is this might be a little crazy. Can I get them both? I mean that looks like it's got both of them. Doesn't it? It looks like both of them are in there to me. 
So neither one of them will die. Okay, we got both of them though. Where are they gonna take cover at? Come on. Oh, one of them went the perfect way. Very nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So I want Calypso to get a kill. 80% shot. That should be good. Excellent. Now, does Zendon have the range on a running gun? He sure does. This will either be the smartest thing I've ever done or the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> we'll be the judge of it later, I suppose. <laughs> Okay, it was neither the smartest nor the dumbest thing I've ever done. So, we know that alien's out there, we just don't know exactly where. Okay. So, Lanky Asian. Bust your way in here knowing you can get back out if you need to. Okay. So, nothing big going on in here. I like that. So, we're going to just send, uh, I guess we're going to send the whole crew in here. By the whole crew, I mean the the uh, the other team, the second team. I don't want to call them the B team. They're not the B team. And then we'll run uh, we'll run our new little sniper clear up front. That way, when we open that door, we're ready to go. Probably shouldn't have uh, overwatched Slanky Asian with his shotgun there. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, so I do, do need to reload with uh, with Mr. Mac here. So we will run Jefe Pollo. I mean, there's no need to put ourselves right out front. So we'll just come right up here and we'll reload. There's no need just to stand outside with your, with your weapon drawn just because you can, you know. Um... And then we will move... I don't want to really open the door with Niblo yet. Okay, so we can run Calypso. We'll run Calypso clear up here. We'll get... Uh, get Ogzonin into position. And then we'll get the Lanky Asian. We'll actually kind of put him right back here. Yeah, Trying to decide, should I pop out here and see what we got or should I not? Let's wait until next turn when everybody can go. Okay, so we hear aliens. Let's open the door and see what we see. We see nothing, which concerns me a little bit. All right, Calypso. Let's uh, let's run you all the way over here. That may not be a smart thing, but it doesn't look like it's going to affect us any. Just in case they decide to come in that door, we'll be ready for them. Alright, well it looks like... If I was going to see an alien, I would think I would have seen it by now. We'll, come, we'll take this corner and make sure they're not going to sneak around on the outside here. Get his sniper rifle back out. Um, yeah, I don't want to expose any aliens on the last turn of the of the of the, uh, the last move of the turn. That wouldn't be any good. Okay, so we lost a meld. That doesn't make me super happy, but we can deal with it. We actually did not hear any aliens that time, which concerns me a little bit. Okay, where can he get to? 
We'll run straight across into full cover. There's a couple of thin men. Alright, where are they gonna go? Up on the roof, eh? That's... We've got 64% uh, shot on both of them. Might as well take it. Oh, come on, rookie. Not really rookie, I guess. Squatty. Oh, I love it. Good shot. Now, with a run and gun... See, that's the bad thing. Is all this guy's got is a, basically a shotgun, and I'm not sure what the... the accuracy is like on that thing. Can I do... What are the odds of Zenden getting a shot? Not real high from back there. We can move up just a little bit to the corner of these boxes. Will he have a shot from here? Yeah, 67. It's not a great shot, but we'll take it. Oh, okay. Oh, do we dare do this? I think we do. <laughs> okay, so no shot. That's okay. So how close can we get our mech? Will there will be a shot from here is the question. There will be a shot from there. 86%, we'll take it. Yeah, I like it. Okay. So all in all, I gotta say that worked out better than I expected it to. So, Lanky Asian's kind of stuck back here all by himself, but that's okay. We'll uh, get him out here on the door now. Okay. Let's see what else we get. What in the world? <laughs> there's the meld <laughs> that we missed. Alright. Oh, and there's the other one right there. Well, we might just be able to make a play on that meld then. Um, you know what? I really think we need to empty out this... Roger. Tracking. This building. So I can hide after I open this door if I need to. Okay, looks like I'm not going to need to hide. So there could be aliens up here in this corner. So I don't want to put myself in a real bad spot. You know, I think I might just go back up right exactly where I was. I don't know. No, you know what we're going to do? We're going to... We're going to move these guys in on this side as well. So, we're going to have Zenden move up and open this door. Okay. Floaters. Good. They'll probably take cover up top. No, they don't. That's interesting. What kind of shot? 74% shot on that one. That's, that's pretty darn good. <laughs> and of course we missed it. That's okay. We can handle that. Okay, so what have we got with Zenden? We've got a 57. That's not quite so good. Where can we get our mech at? Right here, will we have a shot? It's quite possible we'll have a shot from here. Nope, not going to. It's a good place to overwatch, though. 57, I still don't like that shot. can get Let's do this. our rookie right over here. Can we get Exonin in for a shot? Yeah. 54, so not even as good as, uh, as the other one. Lanky Asian, how close can we get you? Not. <laughs> not very close at all. Let's take cover back behind the truck for now. Um, 
You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna reload Zenden. And we're gonna overwatch with uh, Zonin. We're gonna see what these guys do. Okay, so he did move. Kind of expected to miss that, but that's okay. Alright, so he's gonna do the thing where he tries to get around behind us. Which, you know, he's got us flanked, but he doesn't stand a chance, so. <laughs> Hefe Pollo can take care of that problem with one swift punch. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know exactly where this other one went, but I'm going to guess, okay, so that should prevent us from being flanked over there. We'll send, who is this, we'll send Zendin right up here, see if we can get a visual, no, so he may be back here behind this car. Try to keep everyone into full cover, so whichever way he comes, we're prepared. On the move. And then, uh, yeah, we might as well have one guy kind of watching in another direction to make sure they don't sneak up on us that way. Because you just never know. I'm going to send everyone in Overwatch. We'll hunker you down because I don't want to get your pistol out. You'll probably miss anyway. Yeah, there's our floater. We knew he'd be around there somewhere. Alright. I wonder what my chance of catching him is. Probably not very high. Because my guy who can catch him is over here. Yeah. All right, Calypso. What kind of shot do you have? Forty percent. We can do better than that. What if we put you right here? Sixty-six. We'll take it. Come on. Oh, not good. Not good. But I think that's okay because we have we have a shot here. That one's 56, which is not very good. We do have a run and gun here, so this should be real good though. We have a run and gun right here, which should be should be a hundred percent. Got the flank, got the hundred percent, got the win. Okay. Mission accomplished. Oh, so that is actually the win on the mission too. I was expecting to kill that alien, not beat the mission. So we didn't collect the first meld, we lost it up on the roof, but we got the second one. So there we go. Abduction mission completed. Those of you that only like to watch the fighting, thanks for coming out. We'll see you next time. The rest of you, let's go back and see what's going on at our base. So we did start in the USA. I should have probably planned for a little bit differently with my uh, with my base, but that's okay because I could have farmed missions and uh, abduction missions in the USA. But that's okay. We're not gonna worry about it. Lanky Asian gets a promotion. Battle scanner or Sentinel? Definitely gonna go with Sentinel. We have uh, a battle scanner that we can use. So, all right, very good. We've got a Council Medal of Honor available. Picked up a bunch of stuff and 10 more meld. Panic uh, increased across North America, which is okay, and across Europe, which is also okay. Touch, um, we're going to pop out to the Situation Room just to see. So, Canada and Mexico are both freaking out. That's okay because they're about to get satellites. Russia is freaking out. China is freaking out. Again, that's okay. We have a covert op going on in Russia, so that should, manage the, that should mitigate the, the panic over there and we can launch a satellite in China if we need to.
so um, things are still looking pretty good as far as that goes mission control oh no panic in Mexico we're not worried about it ah you Russia blah okay so we're one day away from tactical rigging which is gonna be awesome that'll allow us to carry two items into uh, into battle with us into uh, on each person and uh, we got a forty dollar forty credit um, forty credit credit that's weird to say um, we could upgrade our pistol uh, we could upgrade our scope which would be nice uh, tactical rigging we've got ready to go you know I don't think there's anything I really want to do right there just yet but with our eighty five dollars what we might want to do, we've got to have cyber disc wrecks to make those. Phoenix cannons, laser cannons. Okay, there's nothing here I'm too worried about. Should we make anything else? Titan plating, absolutely. Let's make as many of these as we can, which is going to be one. Uh, which would be good for our rookies to take out when they go. And, uh, guess that puts us good for now. So we'll have satellites in three more days. We'll have a covert op in two days, so. Um, the nice thing is we ought to have our fellas back from the, the infirmary by then. So let's just keep scanning. Alright, so Constable Bowtie is back just in time for this. Okay, covert operative is ready for extraction. He will be lost if we ignore this. We don't want to lose Bowtie, so we're going to send an extraction squad. Alright, so here we go. So this is the squad that it wants us to send. We're not quite going to send exactly this squad. We're going to, we're going to clear out a few folks. Um, we're going to focus on getting a few people their last, uh, their last needed. Um, their last needed promotions up to the what is it? The colonel, the corporal, the the highest rank. Bow tie. We're gonna take. Uh, you know, we are gonna take. Oxonan. We're gonna take Zinden. Where did you go, Zinden? I know you're here. There you are. So yeah, that actually looks like a real good real good crew to take with me. You need... No. We need to make our items available. Because Bowtie needs, not to be customized, Bowtie needs his skeleton suit, he needs his laser plant thingy, he needs this. He is gonna need... Ah, oh, we're gonna need to build some more scopes. Okay, Calypso has a med kit. Junior has two grenades. Zonin doesn't need a scope. Well, he does need a scope, but that's okay. Okay, I'm actually happy with what everyone else has. I think we're going to go build one more scope. And we'll do that right now, while we can. If we can. Yeah, we can afford it. So now we'll pop, whoop, we'll pop back out here to our covert data recovery, send our extraction squad. I don't need more info, we're going to launch Excellent. the mission, and we're going to give Bowtie... We're going to give Bowtie a scope, and we're going to give uh, Zinden, who is likely to be rushing out in the middle of nowhere, a bit of plating to keep him safe. Okay, so that is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to go in. Um, this is the crew that's going to go and try to extract uh, uh, Mad Dog Decoder Ring, our covert op. So thank you guys for coming out. Remember to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed. Share with your friends. Um, tell each other, tell everyone there's a crazy guy playing XCOM and come watch him actually not die. I've been doing fairly well. So thank you guys and we'll talk to you next time.